It's the platform of choice for President Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Russian operatives trying to disrupt the 2016 elections. And now Twitter is a trending topic on Capitol Hill. I'm Andy Sullivan in Washington, where Twitter executives met with congressional investigators in the House of Representatives and the Senate on Thursday, part of a growing backlash against Silicon Valley for its role, however inadvertent, in advancing Russian propaganda efforts. Lawmakers questioning whether Twitter, along with Facebook and Google, are doing enough to stop it. Like Facebook, Twitter connecting millions of people online, but also serving as a platform for disinformation and false stories. Automated accounts known as bots amplifying the impact. Twitter telling lawmakers Thursday it suspended hundreds of Russian-linked accounts, promising to ramp up its anti-spam efforts, but disclosing that accounts associated with Kremlin-linked media outlet RT had spent $274,000 on advertising. Twitter's answer is doing little to satisfy one prominent lawmaker on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Deeply disappointing. Democrat Mark Warner calling the company's presentation, quote, inadequate on every level, saying the company didn't even begin to answer questions about Russian activity. Lawmakers have historically been reluctant to regulate the tech industry, worried about stifling innovation. Right now, Internet companies don't have to reveal who's paying for their political ads, and they're not liable for content posted on their networks. All that could change if lawmakers decide that Silicon Valley has too much influence over American life. Twitter's closed-door hearings on Thursday just the beginning. Top names are due back to testify about Russia in open hearings in November.